Hello YouTube people, today I want to show you this rather special Swatch chronograph. This watch is special because of two reasons. First reason is because this is 150 years anniversary edition and I honestly don't care about that. I care about the second thing. Second thing is that this watch is made out of aluminum. I never had a watch made out of aluminum. It looks totally different from watches that are made out of stainless steel. Because aluminum is a little bit brighter. It, it looks almost a little bit more glowy. It looks actually different than stainless steel version. It really gives me that feel of novelty because I never had a watch made out of aluminum. In my opinion, design wise, this watch is perfection. I wouldn't change a single thing on this watch. I think everything, color wise, size wise, proportion wise, whatever wise, everything comes together so nicely, well proportioned, very tastefully done. I wouldn't change a single thing design wise on this watch. Visually perfect, but technically speaking, I wish several things were done a little bit differently. About those things later on, First of all, I want to show you how it looks like on a person, just casually. It's a very sporty looking watch. Not too big, not too aggressive. It's just so perfect. I really like it. It does have some loom, but nothing impressive. It fades out rather quickly. I only have two problems with this watch and those two problems are not even related to the watch itself. It's the problem with the strap and uh, the buckle. Uh, the strap is very comfortable, very squishy silicone, but the problem with very squishy silicone straps is that they are very grippy, very sticky. And if I wear this watch for too long, it gives me itchiness on the, on the skin. It gives me a little bit of rash. And another problem with if I wear this watch with a winter jacket and put this watch behind the sleeve, it catches the sleeve from the inside. And when, when I move my arm, it just feels uncomfortable. It's always like... It, it, it feels annoying. Now, another problem is with this uh, buckle. It is in such a location that when I put my wrist on the table next to the keyboard, I always put it on the hard surface. And it's just so annoying. And whenever I move my arm across the table, I just keep scratching the table. I, I really hate that. So I would change the buckle and I would change the material that the strap is made of. But the watch itself, I wouldn't change anything. So let's take a better look at the watch itself. I bought this watch used. I paid 20 euros for this watch. I got it so cheap because chronograph hands were misaligned and the crystal was all scratched up. But aligning those hands back to their original place is very easy. I'll put the link in the description showing you how to do exactly that. And I have removed scratches using some kind of scratch remover car polishing paste of some kind, an old t-shirt. But I have worn this watch for a while and got new scratches. This bubbly acrylic crystal, it just catches onto things and it's very soft, it's very easy to scratch. But honestly, on top of this dial, I wouldn't want anything else than this acrylic because it's very clear and it's just part of the appeal of this watch. Uh, I really love the dial. The dial looks so incredibly good. Those tiny red hands and those bold minute and hour hands, everything plays out together so nicely. Even the date window is exactly on four, right in, in the between of minute hands. Attention to detail. I mean, it's so lovely. And I really like those pushers. They have such a satisfying clicky feedback. Nice engraving on the crown. As far as I know, this is 150 years special edition engraving. It also has this engraving on end of the strap, also on the keeper. 150 years. Nice watch, very, very nice watch. About the metal, let's compare it to stainless steel. As I told you, this is aluminum. It's a lot brighter, a lot more white than stainless steel. And you can definitely tell the difference. This one is not sandblasted as this swatch watch. It's brushed uh, surface, but it's fairly close in terms of a look. And you can definitely tell the difference in shade that stainless steel is a lot darker. Let's put it next to the swatch watch. This is shiny surface on the stainless steel but it's still noticeable that stainless steel is a lot darker 
I really enjoy having this aluminum watch. It's a little bit lighter than stainless steel. And the shade, it's, it, it gives that such a great novelty feel, something new, something that I never had before. I really enjoy that. The conclusions where I'm going to rate this watch on my website, thomaswatchreviews.com, where I rate watches into different tier lists. This one goes into keepers because the fun factor of this watch is just incredible. It's off the chart. And I really love used swatch watches because they just lose value like crazy. Swatch watches depreciate like insane. So 20 euros for this kind of watch is just insane. I love, love, love used swatch watches. Just one advice, if you are buying used swatch chronograph, always ask a seller to make a video that uh, chronograph hands are not stuck. If they are stuck, don't buy. If they move, you can still get them aligned fairly easily. How to do that, link in the description. So that's all. I really enjoy this watch. Wonderful watch. Thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye. Hey Google, how to pronounce aluminum or aluminum? How do I pronounce the word aluminum in American English? This word is pronounced very differently in British English. So aluminum is the metal, and we often see this in cans um, that we drink sodas out of or pop. Um, so to say this word correctly in English, the key is we are going to have four beats or four syllables. It's going to be super short, long, short, short.